The world-famous Black Rock Desert has a character of contrasts. Solitude of the playa, excitement of Burning Man. The rest of the year, kids can drive cars, ride bikes, shoot guns, see wild animals, soak in hot springs, touch parched soil, and witness a dark sky sanctuary. Also, silence. At the edge of this awe-inspiring landscape is one of the area's greatest gems in plain view. Gerlach, Nevada, and its Gerlachians, have scratched out a living for a century here, from the railroad, ranching, mining, and now art and tourism. It's speckled with amazing shacks made of railroad ties. This uniquely Gerlachian character is now at a crossroads, with a proposal for a new addition, industrial character that has never been witnessed here before. A massive geothermal plant by Ormat Technologies is being considered by the federal government. It would be just a quarter mile from this town, next to this mountain. It would sprawl across seven miles with lights and steam, humming and hissing. sucking precious little water to make power for cities hundreds of miles away, and changing the character of this tiny town forever. Such a plant could also threaten a dozen hot springs in the area. Gerlachians and Burning Man are trying to stand up to the Goliath power plant and federal government. At this critical moment in the character of Gerlach, Let's take a minute to appreciate the unique historical architecture here. This is a moment of truth for the center of the known universe. The sign that greets us at Gerlach calls for good attitudes and people. Gerlach, more than just a pretty name, where the pavement ends and the west begins. Not five, not four, three bars, no churches, no wars. The fastest town on the planet. That's why they call it Girl Lack. The time the town forgot. When you come into town, you're on 447. Man, you, this is the things that everybody sees. They see the Burning Man office and see the friends of Black Rock, High Rock, and you might see some people who came to town for Burning Man and never left. There's AAA. Everybody sees the Miners Club. There's Bruno's Country Club. It's famous. And then there's the buildings that uh, people have forgotten, which include uh, a radio station that was once a, a hotel. It's like anybody can kind of come in and uh, do whatever they want there. There's a lot of storage around town. Some of the locals complain about too much storage. That, sculptures are a favorite. And there's Burning Man sculptures. This one's made out of bike parts. The center is bike reflectors, and there's the wheels and the tires and chains and cogs. There's the tires, and there's some pedals. This is a railroad town. It was started by the railroad. People lived here to build the railroad. Train still comes through town, but doesn't stop. Go down Sunset Boulevard and you get a sense of the old railroad town the way it once was. You start to see the houses made out of railroad ties. They're in various states of disrepair, but they can easily be fixed up. People have. Check out this one. It was all fixed up. Railroad tie house. And here's another one that could be fixed up. They seem to be sinking into the ground. Either that or they're just real squat. This one you could just push back together. People say that the railroad tie houses are just kind of, the ties are just sitting on top of each other. It's amazing that they've sat for so long. And you can look inside of them and imagine what it must have been like to live in one of these a long time ago. People have tried to restore some of them. This one had some stucco on the outside of it. And you can see the stucco crumbling there. And you can look inside and see some uh, artifacts. It's really neat how they're fitted together. And then the contrast with the modern things like a fire hydrant. Some of them are dug down into the ground like this one, presumably to keep the building cool in the hot summers and you throw dirt on top to 
make sure that the roof doesn't blow away in the wind or also keeps it cool. This one had three houses attached to it. And you put a little board over the window so that nobody can climb in there. But there's lots of these little houses. It's difficult to figure out who owns them and uh, try and buy them. Nobody's selling in Gerlach. Prices have increased a lot. And people put uh, roofing on the outside of their houses for a while to try to keep them from decomposing in the harsh weather. And the roofing itself is decomposing on many of these buildings. It's neat to see some of the older trailers, too, in town. This is where people would have tied up their horses. So there's metal there, and you tie up your horse there. This is presumably an old outhouse. And you could see some old dumps laying around town. Hundreds of years old, probably. No, this one's like a glass dump. Here's another railroad tie house that somebody's fixing up. They've got a wheelbarrow there to be able to plug some of the gaps in the uh, railroad ties. And just some general housing with more roofing as siding. These houses look like they're pretty messed up, but they do have good bones and they're still standing. It's just they don't have any windows and doors. And here's an old uh, railroad uh, powerhouse. It's got birdhouses on the outside of it. There's some typical looking cabins. The power lines are folding over some houses. Some houses are metal with awesome doors. Here's another railroad tie house. You can see a big seam in it where the ties were kind of butted up against each other. This railroad tie house was completely restored and it's actually two stories. And then there's lots of old vehicles in town. So it's kind of like an old, old vehicle museum here. So if you walk around town, you can check out some of these. never seen a tow truck like this which is pretty neat for an old tow truck driver like myself this one's real squat this look appears to be a water truck or a fuel truck a real short back on it and the glass on some of these windows is just hanging there this one could drive through the brush look at that grill and here's a gas truck an old gas truck And there's not just old cars, there's newer cars, like art cars from Burning Man. There's a few stored here in town, but most are stored outside of town at ranches. And there's some architecture around some of the houses. Uh, this is a fence that's art. And there's also newer houses, too. Here's an art car in front of one of the newer homes. These ones are built right on the playa, so here's their view which is incredible. So what else is out there in the Black Rock Desert? Well, it's impossible to cover everything that's out there in my short little volunteer video here, but we could talk a little bit about the playa and riding bikes along the playa. And you end up in a dust storm and then you ride out of the dust storm and you can camp out there in the middle of nowhere. Nobody's going to stop you. You can enjoy the moonrise and the dark skies. Kids often learn how to drive out here. They learn the basics of how to operate a car. My daughter drove 60 miles an hour out there. It's definitely a fun place for family and a time for contemplation. If you bring your dog out here, make sure that you clean up after it. It is a leave no trace place. You can see that there's nothing out there. Nobody's left anything behind, at least not in these pictures. People are pretty good about cleaning up after themselves. And there's a lot outside of the playa as well. So you can drive for quite a long way, an entire day, around the Black Rock Desert. And there's a lot to see out there. The roads seem to go on forever in a straight line. At sunset, you get to experience the dark sky. And the Friends of Black Rock High Rock does tours of the amazing Fly Geyser, uh, one of many uh, hot springs in the area. They talk about the nature and the seas of brush out there as well as the big draw, which is the geyser itself. And there's lots of smaller geysers around the big geyser. You take a walk around the ranch, you can go through this little gate here, and then there's trails all over the place. Little bridges going over creeks. And you learn all about the kinds of wildlife that are out here as well. And then you get to see the big hot pools. This one has a pier on it that you can jump off into the water. 
but you have to get permission from BlackRock High Rock. They have guardians out here that ensure that people don't just show up and start swimming around. And it is a gorgeous and really appealing place. The tours are not very expensive and they are well worth it. Again, from Friends of Black Rock High Rock. And then there's the main attraction, which closes out the uh, tour, and that is Fly Geyser itself. People are taking pictures of it the whole way around as they're walking around the property. And then they finally get to see it. They walk up to a, a platform that has been built, and that prevents people from walking right up to it, which can be kind of dangerous because it's really slippery. It also causes a lot of destruction to, for, to have that many people walking up to it all the time. And while Fly Geyser draws a lot of attention, Gerlach itself doesn't get the kind of attention that it really truly deserves, for it's specifically the really well-preserved railroad housing. But as you can see, there's a whole lot out here that can be preserved. And it's not just the visual elements that need to be preserved, but right here in Gerlach, it's very quiet. And that is part of the character of Gerlach and Fly Geyser and the Playa. A geothermal plant like the one proposed for Gerlach not only threatens the character of the place, but also springs like this east of Reno. Patua Hot Springs is nearly dried up and it's infested with red mites. Don't ask me how I know. Less than a mile away is a geothermal power plant. Few people come to this wasteland anymore. The town has died. Will a power plant in Gerlach turn the Black Rock Desert into a wasteland too with dried up springs and a place that nobody wants to visit? Is that a risk that we want to take? Check out Gerlach its culture, and fly geyser. Reach out to the friends of Black Rock High Rock and get a tour before it fades away. <laughs>